Welcome back to the channel. It's me, The Goods. Let's get into this one. So in this one, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to add uh, cyber faces for players that are not real NBA players or not even in the game. So what we have to do to start off, you want to go and find the roster in which you want to add a cyber face for. So as you can see here, I have a roster. You see, I have, it says Duke Blue Devils at the top as soon as I load it up. Um, I have a fictional college roster. This one is created by Rob Davis. He's a member over at NLSC, so big thanks to you. So I'm gonna use this roster here to create, um, create a, well, create a slot so that I can apply a cyber face for a prospect who is not yet in the NBA. So I need my, this right here is my modded folder and this right here is my downloads folder. So I'm gonna use Jalen Green, uh, one of my favorite high school prospects right now. Uh, I'm gonna use his cyber face and you'll need a list of current cyber face cyber faces in the game you can use the cyber face lookup tool i've done videos on this tool this is just a listing tool that tells you which cyber face ids to apply to which players so make sure you check out my video on this tool but right now i'm just looking for a slot that i want to use so i'm going to use the frequency vibrations his cyber face id is 6120 and Okay, so again, this is my download here. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the game, I'm gonna replace one of these players. I'm gonna edit one of these players and change their name. So let's find a good candidate. I'm looking for somebody in a position. Okay, small forward, I'll use this guy. So I'm just gonna go over to Vitals and change his name to Jalen Green. Now, if I miss anything in this video, guys, let me know down in the comments if I've confused you or anything like that. Okay, I'm just making sure I had to check back, make sure his last name was spelled properly. All right, so we're gonna use Jalen Green. We're gonna put him on the Louisville team. Louisville, Louisville, however you wanna say it. All right, so as you can see now, his name has changed. So now you're gonna need a program uh, such as Lumnono Trainer or Cheat Engine or any other trainer to change the Cyberface ID. So I've, I've got this program here. This one is uh, the, uh, the Super Modifier, the Modstar Super Modifier. Uh, I found it, uh, I've had to find it on I think it was modstar.cn or something like that. Anyway, this video isn't about this tool. You can just use Lumnono Trainer or Cheat Engine if you want. Um, so I find my team, Cardinals, find Jalen Green. Okay, I go over to Cyberface ID and I look back here. Okay, 6120, that's what I wanna use. So let me minimize this. All right, so I'm gonna change the Cyberface ID. Oh. Let me get this out the way. Change the cyber face ID from one to 6120. And then I just click on any other field, go back into the game. And I should be able to just load this player face back up. I mean, <laughs> load them back up in edit player to see his face. Okay, so there's frequency vibrations. And now we're going to, now is when we will add our downloaded files, okay? So if you wanna add a player that's not in the game, what you do is you take a real CF ID, a real Cyberface ID, use it, and then get your modded files. So I'm using the face file here, drag it over to my modded folder or Wegua folder, um, and name it. So I'm naming it face six one two zero dot if that's for the skin textures six one two zero again double checking my work and then the png file 
that is for the 3D model. So I'm going to rename this PNG 6120.if. All right. All right. So as you can see, it's there in my modded folder or a GUI folder. Both are the same. Um, but the files are there. I'm going to go over the body to see if it'll switch. If it'll change the face. No. So I'm going to back out. I don't have to save anything right now. I've backed out and the face loads up right here so now i can go right back in so here it is now this cyber face here is made by uh, a modder his name is enter the void and big thanks to enter the void thank you he has released several of his previously unreleased works including lamella ball jalen green jalen lick um yeah so Make sure you guys check him out. I'll try to have his Facebook link down in the description so you guys can get some of his faces. He has some good work. Um, so that's it. That's it. All right, guys.